Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining the alternate and historical fiction track and extra special thanks to all of our awesome panelists. Uh, welcome to DragonCon History 102, where we'll be talking about some of the unofficial organizations and taking an even deeper dive into convention history and lore and general wackiness. Uh, and if history and lore and general wackiness are something that you're into, uh, check out our YouTube and other social media channels. We have got you covered. Um, Laura is our awesome moderator again this year, so I'm going to hand things over to her and she can get this all going. Uh, Laura, take it away. Well, cool. so hi. Um, welcome everybody in DragonCon fanatics or newbies, whoever you may be. Uh, my name is Laura, and I have always kind of been fascinated with the fact that DragonCon really has made itself into um, its own culture that is completely um, separate from any fandoms that the con itself celebrates and has a culture all of its own. Um, I've jokingly called myself the con cult historian. Um, Last year, we did the panels on uh, the con cults. Um, so now this year, um, to get more people into it, we are looking at the organizations and groups that are not necessarily official of Dragon Con, but that are pretty integral to the fan experience that you might see around the convention. Um, so with that being said, it looks like uh, we've got a couple of people here. If you guys don't mind, would you please introduce yourselves, introduce what group that you are um, representing, and sort of give us a brief rundown of what you guys do, uh, and and uh, we, we can go into more detail of that later. So um, Mandy, do you want to start? Sure. Hi, I'm Mandy. I am a cosplay cleric or medic, as most of our, our folks go by. Um, we are an unofficial group of craftsmen who got together by happenstance. Um, and we travel around with kits full of repair essentials. Um, some of us also have um, uh, a few things like uh, feminine products, Band-Aids, that kind of thing. Um, we are not medics, medical medics. We are cosplay medics. It's very important. Um, so we cannot fix you, um, and we fix your costume enough for you to get back up to the room and survive the con. Um, but we are we are a cosplay medic, not cosplay surgeons, <laughs> as we like to say. Um, but yeah, we um, we all volunteer and use our own money to uh, bring kits full of repair stuff to help you guys uh, enjoy your con a whole lot more. Awesome, wonderful. Um, and then. Uh, Joshua, will you please introduce yourself and who you're representing today? I can't imagine who. I who knows? Uh, <laughs> yes, I'm I'm Josh, and uh, I'm uh, representing the uh, Dragon Con Loyal Order of the Ribbon. Um, we are spreading the joy of fandom and ribbons in general. Um, we're a group that um, started. Oh about i guess about six years now at this point um uh, started bring, by bringing a few ribbons and then um it it just exploded so we actually formed a group and have been collaborating with you know various people um bouncing ideas off each other for ribbons to represent fandoms um um people that we've lost like there have been carrie fisher memorial ribbons as an example uh just uh bring an extra bit of fun to to the convention yeah trading and, and ribbons collecting ribbons ribbon collecting is so much fun honestly <laughs> so and it's sort of become a staple of the con at this point i think all of us have our big oh. ribbon nonsense now <laughs> um so um and obviously this is not an exhaustive list of groups of the con there's several different groups um but these were the ones that we have represented here tonight that we are going to be talking to and like looking into um so that being said can you give us a little more insight on um what you guys do during the con um as well as if you have any group specific events um and if so how do you find them um the the medics, the cosplay medics, are throughout the con. Throughout, uh, it, Dragon Con is, is unique. It's a twenty-four hour con, and Lord bless us, we have uh, medics there pretty much at least twenty-two hours of the night or oh. of the day. Um, we have some that rise early in the morning and some that stay up late. And Lord bless them, there's one of them that does both early and night. That'll that'll catch up with them at one point, but. 
Um, we are throughout um, the con. We're roving. We have some folks that stay in place. Um, we, we're kind of where you need us to be. Um, the best way to find us is to um, follow this QR code that's going to be magically in put here. Um, <laughs> it is, this is going to take you to our link uh, key that's going to uh, show you to our Discord and our Facebook group. Um, Discord is probably the best way, the fastest way to get our attention during the con. We have different uh, rooms in our Discord uh, for like 911, locations. Um, you can join at any time during the year. It's not just a con thing. Where I was getting pinged right before this um, for our medics who were attending other cons. So we stay in touch oh. throughout the year um, and we come join us. We want more. If you're a <laughs> player, if you're a cosplay medic, or if you're just interested in the whole thing, uh, feel free to join our Discord and our Facebook group. But that's um, primarily how we uh, we have a dispatcher who sees all this and, and DragonCon official is helping us um, send people our way. Um, but that's how we kind of like, oh, hey, I'm in the Hyatt and I have something that's broken. Is there a medic nearby? Um, so we all have flags or signs that say that we are, but the Discord kind of helps us find you guys as well as uh, where we're located too. I actually just realized that you guys actually had the Discord live during the con. Yeah, like it's, have a it's, guy in the chair we're type. Kind of official. It's, That's it fascinating. To uh, last year, it got real. Um, we depended on it last year a whole bunch. Um, but it's it's even bigger and better this uh, for this coming year. And then Sunday we have our photo shoot followed by our alcoholic ice cream social. So, <laughs> so you guys it. have your own photo shoot for the medic specifically? Exactly. Yeah. Well, that's fun. We want to, you know, try and show all of our gear and our kits and our flags and all that stuff. So um, we go late or middle of the day Sunday and then have alcoholic ice cream as you do. As you do. That, uh, that alcoholic ice cream is real good, too. Yeah. Um, the uh, So with your signs, at least, um, I'm assuming that's probably the easiest way if you're just on the floor and maybe you may not have your phone or it's hard to get to your phone. Is that probably the easiest way to find you guys if you're just out and about milling? Yeah, a lot of us have um, flags um, either on poles and they're actual flags that say medic or cosplay repair or something to that effect. I have these two signs that I'm holding up like a picket sign. Um, but there's, there's, we don't, we're not official. So there's no like official sign. We're working on an official logo that you'll lovingly see on the QR code, um, <laughs> which is the, a, a cost, you know, a, a cleric or not a cleric a um a medic cross um but instead of it being a red cross it's the dragon con carpet marriott the carpet. marriott carpet so <laughs> who knew um so yeah we're, we're trying to we're coming a little bit more official but we we like the flexibility of not having to be at a certain place at a certain time that still gives us the chance to if we want to jump into a panel we can um without you know, being set in one place. So it's it's still a way for us to give back to the con, but also still enjoy it too. And and um, I, I know a lot of uh, cosplay medics I've seen at other conventions or just that I've seen online or something, most of them do tend to focus more on like glue or batteries or sewing kits or something like that. Um, but we were talking about this earlier. You don't just focus on that. You also have supplies uh just for not necessarily cosplay stuff as well correct correct um i call myself the cosplay cleric because i um i want to have batteries for you guys including phone chargers i i used it a lot oh. last year. feminine products um band-aids um that kind of thing nothing um actually medical we are not right. licensed medical folks we cannot help you in that way um but if you're just having a real bad hangover you know, a lot of us carry that kind of just, you know, something you can get at the CVS without, if you're stuck in the, um, in the vendor hall and you happen to see us, um, we probably have a Band-Aid or, you know, some of the smaller medical stuff. But yeah, I try and have um, little snacks on me too, in case anyone has low blood sugar, because I was in line with someone who was suffering from that. And so it's, you know, something like an apple or some uh, fruit snacks or something like that is what I usually try and and have but it's each medic is different with their kit um, I 
concentrate on sewing and, and glues and tapes. Um, but other folks have soldering irons. Other people have, oh. it gets real intense. Yeah. They're, That's um, insane. So it, it, the kits are huge and they grow every year. <laughs> um, and we, a lot of folks, you'll see most of them have um, like the, the, the vest, the military vest with all the pockets everywhere, here, there, and everywhere. Um, <laughs> yeah, tactical vest, that's the word. Um, and they'll just know exactly where their their uh, tape is and they'll pull it out of this pocket and they'll have their uh, safety pins over here and uh, all sorts of stuff. So um, last year we started to have uh, more makeup remover and like uh, uh, makeup glues and stuff like that for people. Um, we just want to be as helpful as as we can um i also got uh inflatable tape because of our lovely dinosaurs oh our yeah dinosaurs, they have a special tape made specifically for the inflatables i and didn't even think about that yeah i bought that this year because i needed it last year uh and so now that's added to my kit so that's we, really cool yeah all sorts of stuff we try and help out as much as we can and so you're not just in the hotels you're literally everywhere you're are you outside yeah. as well or like in the dealer halls and everything too wherever there is a con there's <laughs> one of us within walking distance typically. perfect the weston and the shelton or sheraton are a little you know they're they might find one of us or but most of us are in the main three and then we also venture out into the vendor halls as well that's very awesome well very cool and then like you said you can always get contacted through the discord if you mm -hmm. specifically need something and you've got dispatch going on to help yeah, them as well we have some folks that are stationed somewhere, so we can say, if you can make it to the um, the Hilton Steps, we've got a cosplay guy who's who just sits there and just helps people all day. It's all that's all he wants to do. And then there's other of us that you know go back and forth, back and forth. Um, so we've got a little bit of everything. We can places where you can find us, and then methods that you can find us, or that we can find you. Well, very cool. Um, I guess I didn't realize it was so robust, <laughs> but that's very awesome. It's so big. Yeah, we, yeah. At first, it started with like five of us with like smaller kits, um, you know, your typical super glue, your tape, um, all of that stuff. And then as we, um, we just kind of took notes as the years went on and our group has exponentially grown in the past uh, two years where uh, we started off with five uh core like the five main old guys the ogs and then now we're 20 25 of us oh. um and it's it's gotten to where we needed to be organized so we have a dispatcher um russell who's our our who is the probably one of the og ogs um and he will say okay cool who's is there a medic in in the Hilton? Yep, I'm here. Cool, I'll be right down there. Look for this, blah, blah, blah. Um, when you're using the dispatch um, and you're asking for help, main things that we need to know from you are what you look like, where are you, um, <laughs> and, uh, you know, how can we help? You know, if, if you need a soldering iron, there's only maybe one or two of us that have that. Um, but if you just need like a general like safety pin, most of us have that so you know if you say oh i am i'm in here i'm dressed like this and i need uh my shoe repaired or i need a zipper fixed or that kind of thing it helps us better help you guys out there um so i well okay there's more stuff obviously to talk about on yours but we're going to come back to that in a second as far as like prep stuff might go so i'm actually going to pass, pass it over to josh um and the kitty tail and <laughs> Uh, can you give us a rundown, uh, same sort of thing. What do you guys have going on during the con for the, um, for the loyal order of the ribbon? Are there any events? Goodness. I know there are some events for the ribbons, um, group specific events. How would we find them and how can people find you at the con? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we have several events going on every year at the convention. Um, we have, uh, ribbon meetups um, nearly every day, um, and you can actually um, find them in the in the app. Um, really? They will be they will be listed in the app. Yes. Oh, okay. um, I didn't realize they were officially we, listed. I we stumbled are... onto one one year, and so. <laughs> uh, if you stumbled last year, you would have stumbled into a lot of people. Yes, I did. <laughs> we are we're kind of uh, unofficially official. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the the art show has been gracious enough to, you know 
take us under their wing. And that's why we started out. Um, we had our first uh, official meetup you know, in the art show. We have a panel. Um, we'll be doing one or two panels again this year, um, topic TBD at the moment. Um, but then we'll have several meetups. We're still working on the exact locations, but everything will be in the app. Um, as anyone who showed up last year to any of the meetups found, we are quickly growing and we basically ground the art show to a halt for a little bit. Really? Um, one of, one of uh, the team who's, you know, who helps out with uh, organizing the, uh, we're trying to keep the meetups organized. She stopped counting, I think, at about 2,300. Oh my gosh. Or for one event? Just, yeah, for one event. Um, we have one that was, I remember our first meetup last year was actually in the lobby area outside the art show. Um, yes. It was scheduled to start at two o'clock. And so I came down, I figured I'd come down about 20 till. I'll be able to get set up and everything. I get off the elevator and it's just wall to wall people the entire uh, and it ran. I think that's the one I stumbled into and I was just like, oh my gosh. And people were there for probably four hours. Yeah. It was wild. It was very warm too. <laughs> yeah, it, it was. But we're we're working on um on locations and, and times and everything. I'm trying to get us a ballroom, but that takes time. That's you know. It, you know, there's only so much that can be done. And, you know, obviously, um, you know, we bow to main track, you know, things like that. Um, but, you know, we are trying to find a way to continue. Have, a lot of our meetups are at the Hyatt um, because that's where the where the art show is. Um, we do, we are trying to though, find a spot where we won't be in the way as much because we have quickly outgrown the space that's available there in the art show. And obviously the last thing we want to do is cause trouble. Um, but yeah, we do have, like I said, you know, so we have uh, several meetups that will be in the app. We also have the, this will be the third annual badge beard competition. Oh, yes. Um, which uh, that'll, it'll be on Sunday afternoon. And what is um, the badge beard? Uh, the badge beard is essentially, uh, if you could hold your, your ribbons yeah. up for me. Yeah. Um, very long. <laughs> very, very long uh, collections of ribbon. Um we have uh, essentially a competition for the the longest be badge beard, um, also the largest, uh, if you will, cape or cloak. Because some people build their badges well, out yeah. as opposed to length. Uh, and then, of course, also um, just overall, um, whoever has the most ribbons. Um, then we also have awards for the kids as well, uh, for adults and kids. Um, but Sunday afternoon uh, is the plan for that, where we get everyone together. Um, do judging and awarding, and then um, if we can find a quiet moment, sneak out to the uh, the Hyatt lobby for the uh, the ribbon draping, like they oh, did yes. last year. Because mm. uh, it, it it's amazing seeing the That's uh, pretty cool. seeing the, the ribbons hang, and they were that it started at the Hilton. Um, right. That's right, yeah. Two years ago, I think it was. And we quickly it, it, outgrew the height. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so for people who have never been to Dragon Con before, so the Hyatt and the Hilton in particular have kind of they're you know, they're around um the rooms are so that you've got a big lobby that you can look down from from pretty much any level. Um and what they would do, not to steal your thunder here, but they would, you know, hang it over the edge and you could see it go for floors and floors and floors and floors. Like people they're five, I mean, people three, get five what floors. was how many ribbons was the record last year? I don't have a, a count, um, but I know it would be several hundred. Okay. Um, yeah, I know so um, many. I, I want to say in 2019. Yeah, in the uh, the last year of the before times, um, <laughs> my my badge beard. I ended up having it rolled up, and uh, uh, it basically was like a size of a paper towel roll. Uh, and I think I had probably at least 300. Holy cow. And it's it's just continued to increase. We actually the uh, the Facebook group um, recently crossed over five thousand members. Wow! And most of them are active. Are not so, you know some are in there just uh, seeing what ribbons are going to be up, and most are uh, active members who are ordering ribbons to bring. 
I know there's some. I, I'm, cosplay- I'm definitely one of those. <laughs> there's cosplay medics who are printing their own ribbons. To really? Have- yeah. Awesome. That's, that's the other cool thing about groups is and and ribbons in particular. Like a lot of groups will have ribbons for their um, events or for the groups or just being representative. Um, yeah. And ribbons can be literally anything, right? Oh yeah, uh, we get yeah. tips ribbons as we help people who are like oh so i helped this fandoms someone in this fandom and they gave me their uh that's how i got so many um ribbons for me um it was you know just people like hey thanks for helping me have a ribbon um we don't expect anything um our services are free um but if you want to buy us a drink or alcoholic ice cream or or ribbons or swag or or just a hug um we take all sorts of uh of thanks yeah and it, and yeah. like like he was saying i mean they can be anything this is my personal favorite it's when i make it just says ribbon ribbon <laughs> i think that's hysterical but then you get them that have you know line like he was saying like uh carrie fisher uh tributes or just a line from a show or this one's a ribbon and it says uh uh and they could be just anything and so, all the all the cults I know oh, the cults. I, I, I can't remember where everything exactly is at, but I know on here I've got plenty of Marriott carpet. I've Welcome. got um, a few Welcome. of the other cults in here. Welcome home, Dragon Con. Welcome. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you'll you'll get all sorts of stuff. Um, sometimes even, um, now this is kind of sometimes pretty separate from the events themselves, like the ribbon meetups, but like I'll go to vendors in the vending hall and you buy something and they'll stick a ribbon in your bag or they'll just give you one. There are vendors that are in in the group in the Facebook group that um, show off to where they bring. Uh, I think one of them that brings like twenty five or twenty six different ribbons. Oh, cool. Um, uh, and actually, there's the... even one girl who has. Uh, she calls it a digital ribbon, and you can Bluetooth it to your phone, and it can like scroll, and you can program it to say whatever you want. You can draw on it. It's very cool. <laughs> Yeah, there are, there are a few different those uh, available. I'm actually considering one of those and devising something like a magnet strip or something to, so that I can keep the rest of the ribbons off and I don't have to carry 10 pounds of ribbons around all the time. Yeah, I, I um, on mine, I have safety pins on the back so I can like detach them if I'm actually cosplaying. <laughs> and I don't have to. Cosplay medics were actually talking about this and we're planning on having specific tape, pretty tape. Um, with like, you know, the, the pretty duct tapes that have yeah. the, just to go on the back of, of our ribbon beards, because we got asked for that a lot. Exactly. Just like that. Um, but we're going to have pretty tapes for you guys, for your, for your, for your beards. Because with the heat, some of the adhesive doesn't always stay. <laughs> yeah. And especially if you have the more than two or three feet of, of yeah. ribbon, it, yeah. it doesn't hold up that well. Yeah. I, I actually made it a point to where we bring duct tape every year and the large uh, binder clips. Oh, yes. Because if nothing else, roll it up and use the binder clips to hold the roll together. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've definitely seen people do I've seen paper clips, binder clips, mm-hmm. safety pins. I think I saw someone use Velcro one year. I was like, all right. <laughs> what, yeah. Whatever you need to do. Whatever yeah. whatever works. Um, yeah. And I guess this will start to go into the next section as well. Um, So basically for both of you, um, if people want to get more involved with the group, how would they do that? And for that matter, clearly for some of these, there's going to be some prep work required. Um, Like obviously if you want to make a ribbon, you have to get them somewhere. You have to order them or for your medics, I'm assuming you need to get supplies or kind of coordinate. so what would interested parties need to do or what do you recommend um, in order to prep or prepare, try to be involved in whatever fashion? The um, the Discord is the first place to start for us. Um, come in, join us. Um, say if you're going to be a, uh, if you want to join as a medic or just a cosplayer or just a regular Joe. Um, but we have a, uh, a pinned, um, post on Facebook as well as a a page on our discord that says this is a basic kit um that's a starter kit kind of thing um and this is what we see the most requests for um so many so many safety pins um if you have if you're 
useful with a, or uh, talented with a needle and thread, bring that. Um, but there's a whole list of stuff that we have there that you can ch uh, check out and procure what you want. Um, some people just come around with like a little um, pocketbook sized kit, a little baby kit. Mm -hmm. um, we include, if you bring a kit uh, and you join our Discord, you're a medic. Uh, we don't have like, you must have this, you must have right. that. Um, and you don't have to do it all day, every day. If you just want to be uh, there on Saturday helping out in, in a cosplay or as a medic, um, you're welcome to. If you want to do the whole weekend, you're welcome to. Um, just in the morning, sure. Just at night, even better. Um, it's we. That's why we like to have the flexibility so that everyone can join at their own pace. Um, you'll see the people with their full kit and you'll be like, wow, I <laughs> thought of that. Or how do you use that? And we'll teach you that too. So um, we have uh, some very talented and lovely people on our crew. Um, Thursdays, uh, probably after our panel, um, we'll have a get together and like say, hey, I, I forgot this. Does anyone have any extra super glue or that kind of thing? And we kind of, uh, you know, make sure everyone's kit is uh, fully loaded and ready to go. Also, you know, enjoy a few beverages or something to that effect. But, <laughs> uh, make it fun. It's Dragon Con. Join some uh, Dragon Ale or Dragon Mead. All those mm -hmm. good things. Um, good. But yeah, um, definitely check out our, our list. Uh, check out our Discord or Facebook group. Um we're constantly having conversations. People just posted, hey, I've crafted this thing that's going to hold my hot glue gun. Um, or, hey, I got this new bag that's going to hold all of my organization stuff. And and it's like we just geek out over, over being cosplay medics. And so you get ideas. You can get tips. Uh, main tip is to realize that Dragon Con is in Atlanta in the depth of the summer. It's humid. It's hot. Not all glues work the same. Um, not all tape works the same in those conditions. So make sure you're paying attention to the heat levels of your glues and your tapes when you're creating your cosplays. Um, and then for us, we bring the higher temp stuff so that we can actually fix um, all the stuff there too, since we're actively in it, actively hot and sweaty and all the gloriousness that is Dragon Con. Very, very cool. Um, and then as far as... Uh... Um, well, I guess that sort of covered both of what I was trying to say there. Um, yeah. Ultimate answer is Discord. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, and so, Josh, uh, as far as uh, the ribbons go, I realize that is an incredibly loaded question. <laughs> it is, but that's all right. Um, the best way to get involved would be to join the Facebook group. What um, is the Facebook group called? It is, it is uh, Dragon Con Loyal Order of the Ribbon. Hopefully we can put uh, in like something. I'll make sure that yeah, you know, we'll, we'll yeah. fix it in post. I'll, I'll yeah, make we'll sure see. we have a link or something. <laughs> uh, but if you uh, join the the Facebook group, um, as I said, you know we have over five thousand people in it. Um, a lot of people are very helpful. If you have questions, concerns, we do have guides up for designing ribbons, both using um, software and without. Because uh, not everybody is, you know, a Photoshop guru, and able to uh, to uh, do full art designs. Do people ever um, do requests there, or is that sort um, of? A... You know, I'm I once or twice I think there's been discussion of that, but I, not not really a lot. Um, like I realize that that's getting into like commissiony type things. So yeah, I, I, I mean, know, like I I've, thought about that one. Yeah, I mean, I, I've thrown a couple together for people before, but. Uh, yeah. But yeah, uh, not not too much of it. But you know, very still very helpful community. You know, discussing everything, uh, going and, over, you know, discussing different ribbon ideas, things like that. Yeah, and um, then the now, tutorials are helpful too, because as far as uh, my experience goes, like the the builders on the sites sometimes are pretty robust. So yeah, yeah, things. they can be, and they have a uh, like if you want to include uh, an image, there's a lot of clip art already on some of the websites. You can find may find exactly what you're looking for without having to uh to uh, go through the depths of google or <laughs> another search <laughs> yeah. uh, but yeah we have we have the guides um we also have uh we've got pinned posts in the facebook group that have um different uh the different ribbon vendors the manufacturers um essentially the process you know to go through and 
and order. Um, there's also several um, discussion posts of which companies people like better than the other. They're, they all have their, their ups and downs. Uh, but yeah, definitely if people do want to get involved with the ribbons, it's something to uh, to start early. Uh, like e even now, you know, um, you know, here this, this is about Memorial Day right now. Um, we are people are already posting their ribbons that they've ordered, um, and it's essentially the bu the busy season, you know, to where it'll take some time for your order to come in if you're, uh, especially if you're wanting to bring you know multiple ribbons, which some people do. Um, it's it's best to get it in early. How long does that usually take on on average for on the place? <laughs> I've got I've been able to order uh, one of our one of our, our uh, manufacturers. He actually is a Dragon Con attendee. Really. And um, yep, and uh, he's the one uh, that you occasionally see walking around as the Marriott carpet Doctor Strange. Uh, Whoa! Yes, you just talk. blew my mind. <laughs> yep he uh, he actually. Um, his company has actually sponsored the uh, the Marriott carpet ribbons. He's uh, they've huh. made it for us the past couple of years. Fantastic. And uh, so cool. Um, I've I've ordered from him. Um, I had I threw a last minute order at him last year, and uh, he managed to get it within I think it was within a couple of weeks of the convention. Um, but he instead of shipping it, he actually I went ahead and just showed up at his room and he hand delivered. Oh, nice! Yeah. But uh, I, normally, I would say anywhere like probably four to six weeks, I, I just think to be can, just to be safe. I think the shortest time frame I had was like three weeks, but you do have to pay extra for like the rush yeah. order and then the shipping, and then I, at, that, at that point, it's almost not worth it. <laughs> yeah, so but, it, it's definitely something to uh, to plan to do at least a couple months ahead, just so you have them. It's like I'm I, I actually I, I honestly have not finalized my designs yet, and I feel like I'm very late already <laughs> in doing so. <laughs> I procrastinate too much apparently. <laughs> but yeah. So um But yeah, the Facebook then, group is the is where you can find everything. That's fair. Um group. and then uh on a different end of the prep, not just ordering the ribbons, if you are someone who wants to get into room and collecting, what would you suggest people bring or we kind of discussed some of it as far as like with ribbon beer, it's how to keep everything together, but yeah, the the bigger things to, to bring would be um, uh, something like duct tape um, and something to hold the ribbons up, whether you use binder clips or uh, safety pins, something like that. Um, uh, another thing to consider, um, considering how many ribbons there there are these days, <laughs> is to do like like you showed uh, earlier on yours, uh, to where you have safety pins holding most of them on and so you can technically yeah. keep most of the beard separate uh, because those things will weigh you down really quickly or they get stuck and you don't want to i mean you're in the crowds they'll get torn or pulled on yep. and stuff so and i think i think it was last year we had someone that they didn't they didn't have everything like fully duct taped they lost over half of their ribbons halfway Ooh. through the con it just yeah, it came loose and they they didn't notice and they were moving on and suddenly they have no ribbons left yep that happened to my boyfriend. He went to the to the dealer room, came back, and all of a sudden, half he didn't even notice until he got back to the room. He's like, "Oh no, kitty tail!" <laughs> yeah, she wants her five minutes. That's fair. We'll have a kitty tail ribbon now. I'm sure. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna write down a new design idea. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's what I mean, guys. Like, it can literally be anything. It can be a quote. It can be a cat tail. It can be a cute image. It can be nonsense. You could have a blank ribbon and it would be funny, I think. Probably. Um, but yeah. So in I think I actually had some test I, I had some test ribbons for the uh the app scientist cult last year. Did they just say test? Uh yeah, it was just it was either test or test ribbon. Oh gosh. I I, I think I've got a few left. I'd have to find them. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Um so I guess that's most of my questions that I had in specifics as far as you guys. Um, I, I will say, obviously, um, the medics and the, because you said you guys work with some of the Dragon Con staff too, because they can help direct them to. Yeah, it's medics, just, it's just um, the 
the social media group is just helping us. Like if y'all, if um, there were folks who were posting on just the Dragon Con general Facebook page. Saying, oh, I see. I need a medic. And so they, they're helping us direct folks to the Discord. So oh, that's it's very cool. Okay. Um, but that's where like, oh, we should get our own. And so um, we're trying to uh, get that more organized, get that out there beforehand, um, stuff like that. So that's why we were, we jumped at the bit to, to be on this panel to help um, get the word out about how people can find us and how we can find you. I'll be honest. I, I didn't know most of it, so I do appreciate it. And also like what you guys do is extremely appreciated as well. Okay. Um, and then what I was going to say is regards to Josh and the ribbons, like that kind of, the ribbons kind of go hand in hand with a lot of the other things, with the medics, obviously with other groups, um, with, uh, the con cult stuff with, um, oh, I'll give a brief shout out. They're not here obviously but i know that the ribbons kind of tend can go hand in hand with a group called the swag and seek where it's um their little trinkets or cool things that people like hide throughout the con and people can find them um and so i uh i think at least the ribbon meetup that i ran into last year ended up being a little bit of swag and seek and a little bit of ribbons it was just kind of a collect upon it was there is some crossover yeah <laughs> and some people take ribbons some people trade ribbons uh yes. some people just hand out for those who don't have anything but want to collect uh some people showed up and they're like will you accept swag for ribbon or, of course we will yep. you get all, you can you get all kinds of wild stuff that way <laughs> yeah yeah we got swag and seek as as thank yous for being medics and stuff like that yeah give me awesome. a shiny rock we'll take a shiny rock yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> All, all of us, all ADHD people, it's like, ooh, shiny rock, new cool thing. Exciting. Exactly. <laughs> um, well, uh, is there, uh, I guess before we sort of try to start wrapping this up-ish, is there anything either of you would like to say specifically um, that you feel is important for your organization or for what you guys do? Or um, I guess I anything, anything important that you'd like to add? I want to just reiterate that we're not medical medics. Uh, we are just cosplay medics. Uh, we can't create your costume. We can make it to where you can uh, survive the, the trip back up to your room or survive potentially the rest of the day. Um, but we're not going to fully, we're not going to have the tools and the time to just full on repair um, a major catastrophe. Um, but we try our best. Um we will attempt it, but we um, we can't make promises, but we, we do try our hardest. Um, so that's, that's kind of it. That's fair. And Joshua, anything that you feel like you could add, you need to add? One second. I'm, someone is trying to get on camera again. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, she's getting demanding. <laughs> um, for the, ribbon, the ribbons, um, if you want to, if people are at all interested want to even just see what's going on they can check out the facebook group um at facebook group or at the con uh just show up if, if you see people just randomly handing out ribbons just go up and ask them uh chances are they're a part of the group um and you know if you you have seen the ribbons you come up with a crazy idea that you want to do come talk to us and we'll help you uh get it work get it realized very cool very cool and uh so yeah, and so for if, if you guys, if whoever is watching this is watching this closer to time, obviously this stuff might be applicable to you for maybe next year, but you can at least get involved and enjoy um, what these groups and other groups have to offer. Um, but I appreciate both of you coming on here and sharing, you know, something that makes Dragon Con, you know, the experience pretty unique and, and a better place for the other uh, fans and attendees of Dragon Con. Um, so anyway, thank you guys for joining us and for everybody out there and you guys, may your prep go smoothly because um, it is fast approaching. So <laughs> thank you all and um, to all of you out there. Um, I hope you guys have an amazing Dragon Con.